In this video, I will go over how to read multiple sheet names into workflow from an XLSX document. So I have set up a sample document with multiple sheet names, sheet one with some data, and sheet two with other data. The first thing we'll do is we want to read this document into the workflow. So I'll drag it onto the canvas, and we actually have a really nice option here called import only the list of sheet names. If we select that, hit OK, and hit Run, we'll notice that it does exactly what we want, which is to output the two sheet names on this document. However, let's assume that you've read this, this workbook into the workflow, and you didn't use that option, and you actually read the data in. Uh, we actually have another way to do this. So let's take note of this table or query a list of sheet names because we will use that in our workflow later on. But for now, let's go ahead and change this back to select a sheet, sheet one, and let's assume that we had read this data into the workflow uh, earlier in in uh, our our data process. So we now see that the actual data is input into the workflow, but we do want to select this option of output file name as field. We're going to change this to full path. When we run this, we will see that it enters in the full path, including the workbook name and the sheet name. And what we want to do is we want to remove this sheet one text and replace it with what we saw earlier, list of sheet names. To do that, we can use a formula tool. And we will strip it off and add on the new text. So select column, a file name, and we will want to take the left of our file name. For the length, we want the length of the file name minus the number of characters that is here, which is nine. So if we remove nine characters, we'll see that we've stripped off that whole ending portion of this string. And in its place, we want to add list of sheet names. Now when we read this workflow, we've effectively replaced the ending of that text. And we're, we will use this full path to read in our list of sheet names. To do that, we will want to input a dynamic input tool onto the canvas. From here, we'll input our data source, selecting Edit, using the drop-down, navigating to Files, and select a file. Here, I will read in my multiple sheets file, and we can select a sheet one, no problem at all. Hit OK, and hit OK. So now, I want to run so that we can initialize the data into this tool. And what we want to do is we want to read a list of data sources from the field file name. But instead of using the change file or table name, we want to change the entire file path. So when we hit run, we'll notice that what is output is the list of two sheet names. And that is two different ways on how you can read multiple sheet names into a workflow from an XLSX document. 